Hi everyone, today again we have the DJI Agers T100 here. As I mentioned to you, we are going to be making a lot of videos showing you how this drone works and testing it. So we have a small vineyard next to us here on the right side. We are going to create an automatic mission and show you how to create an automatic mission with the DJI Agres T100 remote controller to spray a vineyard like that. So I will open the arms What I just did was wrong. We always need to put the battery first because if you have chemicals putting into your tank and this is exposed like that, it will affect your power distribution board and you don't want that. So always first put the battery in and then pour the chemical or water in our case. So now we have the remote controller of the DJI Agros T100 here. To power it on, we press once and press and, ho and hold the power button. So here we go to begin. This is where the vineyard is. To do that, we go up here. We make sure we select route mode. And then we go and press add. We put the crosshair on the first point or first corner and we go to the other side add there is a little area here that we don't want to spray so we have to add the points so here I can visually see that there are no obstacles in the middle so I'm not adding any obstacles to it but I'm just checking if that pole is here or not. You see there is, there is one wind turbine here at the end. So I'm going to click round and then go to here, add an obstacle, make it a little bigger and then that's it. So now we have the map ready it tells us it's 6.13 acre. I save it. I call it test two, save, save. So here now you can see how it looks like. If I wanted to, it's already aligned and it looks good. But if I wanted to change uh, directions or any of those things, I could do that. Uh, but we go and turn on the drone, press and... All right, now your drone is set, the battery is on. When I want to use it, I press use and then I start the whole process. Just showing you a little bit more about the remote controller here, we have the LiDAR view, here we have the camera view, and here we have the map view. We set the parameters, for example, application rate, we are setting it to two gallon per acre and the spray droplet size 120, you can change that if you want to. And flight speed, we go to the max flight speed, which is 65.6 feet per second. It's unheard of any other drone in agriculture to do that. Over here, you can see the tank of this drone is 26.4 gallons. So with one tank, you can cover 13 acres if you're spraying two gallons per acre, which is very common uh, when you spray with a drone. So now we are ready. Everything is set, height above the crop. We're setting it to 12, rat spacing, it's about 40 feet swath that this drone has. So if we set 40 here, you can see the lines here and the task area 5.45 acres, amount sprayed will be 10.9 gallons. We have 17.5 gallon in the drone, 99% battery. So we are ready to just take off. So we press start.
So now on the screen we can see that the drone covered 5.4 acres and it sprayed 10.7 gallons. Uh, it took it 4 minutes and 8 seconds. It was flying at 41 feet per second. It wasn't at max speed. So when at the back you have the mist nozzle package with 4 nozzles. When you spray 2 gallons per acre you can go at max speed. And that's it for this video and stay tuned, please like the video, subscribe and see you soon. Thank you.